Welcome back, this is Yamachak. I did try to do prison suicidal SWAT, uh, but we are on Hell on Earth instead of suicidal, so we're going to do suicidal this time instead. Hopefully that works better. My father's working on a, uh, a um, like compost bin thing, so there might be some, uh, some noises in the background, perhaps. I don't know. Hopefully it's hopefully it's bearable at least. This is I this is literally this is how the last one started. Literally frame for frame. Except I handled it better because it's suicidal. <laughs> um So we got thumbnails now. That's that's real cool. I was uh, I was working on like some for myself to make to make them myself and uh I just shared the design with uh, some friends just for feedback and because uh, I know that a lot of them are actual graphic designers who have like actually put time into learning how to do it properly and I have literally never done any kind of graphics design in my life before ever. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just ask for some feedback from them and uh, one of them was just like, yeah, why don't you just do this? And I was like, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. And uh, so I got a template for it, and that's what I've been using for all the thumbnails. So it is kind of a tedious process to um, to make thumbnails with uh, to make these thumbnails anyway. Because uh, like I have to go in because like this picture right here, but with all of the UI hidden, is uh, the picture for the for prison. I had to go into game and like run around. And actually, like, find that picture because I, I yeah, like it, it was, it was, it was a, a very, very tedious process to go through and do it all. Um, but now that we have, you know, all of the, uh, the 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 pictures for all of the different um, maps. It's not that bad because I can just go in and like turn on the prison one, so I'm not gonna have to take another picture for today. Sometimes I might go in and like change the picture up for a map, just to keep it interesting. But like that'll be a decision that I make, right? It's not gonna be something that I have to do. Like I, it'll be something that I want to do. So I, I just do it because like, yeah, sure, why not, right? Um, just to keep it a little bit interesting, change things up a little bit every now and then, right? Um. Especially if we're playing on the same maps. All oh, right, you have your stupid fireball, flamethrower, garbage. Um, so we might we might change it up, but for for like this week, I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, and probably not for like most weeks, because it's it's honestly not really a a big deal. Because the thumbnails look good, right? I think they do anyway. So who cares if it's you know. Um, the same picture in the background as another video was, right? Like, who cares? It still looks good. That's the that's the the important part, right? So I'm just gonna be uh, content with that for the most part. Like I said, sometimes we'll go through and change. Like we're we're talking this se this series is gonna go on for for hundreds of episodes, maybe maybe thousands, right? Like I have, I have no intentions of, of ever stopping the series just because it is such a a motivator for me and it's it's been such a like positive influence in my life being able to keep up with this um so like we'll, we'll be keeping it up for, for forever basically and you know at some point in that forever i might change the picture on some apps just because you know that's 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 really the moral of the story here yeah, it took like four and a half hours to go through and change all, uh, get, like, like get all the pictures and make all the thumbnails. Because the other thing is, like, I can't just, we're just going to use a Chris. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. I'd like to find, like, an ammo crate if I could, but it's fine, really. Um, the other thing is, I use paint.net for, for photo editing, just because I like how lightweight it is. I don't like paint.net, mostly because it doesn't have layer groups, and that really, really, really annoys me. Um, but I do like how lightweight it is, and it's, it's easy to, I mean, we'll try. It's easy to, um, like, load it up. I can just open it up really, really quickly, 
and uh, like no problem, right? Get like a little quick, a little quick edit going on for for like a meme or something, right? Like that's that's the majority of what I do for photo editing is just like I see a picture of something and I want to like make a circle around something, you know, just for for no real proper purpose, you know. Um, so I use, I use paint.net for that reason and it works, it works fine, but it doesn't have layer groups. So all of those pictures for, for the different maps are just in the layer list and it's, it's, it's really, really, really long. Uh, and when I try to like go back up to the episode number layer, it's, uh, this should be doable like this. When I try to go back to the, uh, to like the episode number to change that, if I just like enable a layer or disable a layer, it scrolls all the way back down to the bottom because that's, please, please, please. Oh, that was such a clutch nade. I had no idea that soccer was there. I did not see it. But that really, really clutched me. Wow. Um, so if I, I uh, all right, so, so a little bit of backstory to why I have to do this anyway is um, with paint.net, you can't edit text after you put it into the, the, the picture, the image. Once, once you have it, it's there. Right, like after you type your text in and hit enter, it's no longer text. It's it's a picture of text. So when you uh, when you want to go back and like change it from episode sixty one to sixty two, you have to delete it and retype it. You can't just change it to sixty two. That doesn't work. Um, so I have a like a little hidden layer that I use for reminding me what font size I should be using. Uh, and um, for like lining it up so that it's still lined up the same way in, in all the episodes. So when I select the map, like I'll go in and I'll, I'll say, you know, we're on prison today. And then I'll go up to this like number lining up layer. And uh, I'll turn that one on, but when I turn it on, it scrolls all the way back down this huge list of, of layers. Because why? I don't know. And then I have to scroll all the way back up and uh, click on the number layer. So I have to make sure that I click on the number layer first before I enable the number liner layer. Because otherwise it just... It, it, it hates me, I guess. Like, I don't I don't know. It's, it's so, so frustrating, though. Because I... I I will just like enable the number layer, the number liner, like the, the layer for lining up the numbers. I will just enable that and then click on the number layer so often and it just, it, it falls back down. Or the other one is if I like scroll all the way up to, you know, airship and I'm, I'm unselecting that. And then the other one is like, you know, the, the next video that I want to turn on is like, um, I don't know what's what's another a you know like block fortress or something like we do airship and then block fortress right um i'll i'll like hide the air fortress the 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 airship one um and then It'll, it'll send me all the way back down and I have to scroll all the way back up to the bees to turn on the the block fortress and it, it's it's Oh, it's such, it's, it's just, it, it's such like a, a poor quality of life, just garbage thing. It's so frustrating. Um, but the, the payoff is, is worth it because we get thumbnails that look just so good. And I'm expecting a pretty much immediate, um, increase in my channel's engagement. Just because of those thumbnails like that, that really does make a significant difference so I should notice like by the end of this week that we're performing better than like last week for instance just because of the thumbnails
Because uh, they are getting served. I don't know if served is the right word, but they are being shown to people. Like, lots of people, thousands of people are seeing my thumbnails and titles. And then just deciding that they don't want to watch it. So with the more interesting uh, thumbnails, hopefully people more often decide that they do want to watch it. And that's kind of the theory anyway, right? We'll see if it's... Uh, we'll see how well it works. It, it should work. Like, I have, I have no doubts about that it will work. Um, I'm just not sure, you know, to what extent is is it going to make a difference? Like, are we going to start getting, like, 10 views per video? Or are we going to start getting, like, 5 views per video instead of, like, the 3 or 4 that we, we generally get now? You know? I don't know. But uh, I'm excited to see. I'm also going to probably try changing the, uh, the titling. So right now we do Yamashak plays Killing Floor 2. I think I'm going to change it to the... Um, I think I'm going to remove the Yamajack plays branding. Um, and then... Go for... Just the... Like, interesting bit of the title. So, like, this one will be named... I don't know. Thumbnails... Dash... Killing Floor 2 or something. I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't thought about it too much yet, really. But changing the uh, um, what what should we call it? The 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 wording of it should bring in more people as well. I'm hoping. You know, it's gonna be like so so long until we're back to like proper livelihood again in uh, in the world with COVID nineteen and all of that. And it, it kind of has me optimistic about uh, the Killing Floor 2, not the Killing Floor 2, but the YouTube um, whatchamacallit, it has me excited about the, the YouTube growth and uh, possible career because I don't know, I'm putting in time, I'm putting in effort and I'm making things actually happen and that's not something that I've ever done before and it feels really, really good, and if I can get to the point where I'm getting like 500 US dollars a month from YouTube, you know, whether from Patreon or um, just uh, YouTube AdSense or, or whatever, like if I can get to the point where I'm getting just 500 or 500 dollars a month, that's enough for me to to live off of, right? So it's kind of a, a lower threshold of uh, of money that I need than than most people, so calling it possible feels like genuine. Like it, it could genuinely be possible for me to turn this into a career, like reasonably easily. Like calling it easy seems like a bit of a the wrong choice of words because it's not easy. I'm putting in a lot of work, and uh, you know it's kind of uh, undermining other people's. Um, hard work as well to say it's easy, but I'm enjoying it, so it doesn't feel like a lot of work, you know, if that makes sense. So, like, I don't know, by the end of COVID-19, do I have to go back to a new job, or will I have got to the point where I'm getting 500 bucks a month from Patreon, AdSense, you know, maybe at that point I have enough viewers for sponsors or something? I don't know. But I'm really enjoying myself, and, uh, I'm going to keep up with it and then see where we are in like a year when we go back to COVID. Who knows where we are in a year, you know? Anyway, we have thumbnails now and I'm really excited about it. Uh, that's going to do it for today though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.